So you're knitting a project with lots of color changes, maybe a stripey project, and it's time to change color. Sure, you can simply leave tails and weave in your ends, but that can be a lot of work. Try the spit splice, aka the felted join, so you don't have any ends to weave in. This method relies on felting, so it only works with yarns that will felt, like traditional wool and alpaca. Superwash wool, synthetics, and plant fibers won't work. I'm going to knit up to and including the last stitch of the first color. This measures how much of the first color you'll need. I'm cutting the yarn about one inch away from where it exits the last stitch. Then I'm going to untwist that one inch tail to separate the plies and slip the point of the scissors between the plies and cut away about half of them. This yarn has three plies, so I'm cutting away two of them. Now I'll unknit the last five stitches. You'll have enough full thickness yarn to complete the row, plus a one inch single ply tail. Then I'm gonna cut away two plies from the last inch of the new yarn as well. Next, I'll cross the two strands of yarn so the full thickness sections are butted up end to end, and then fold the thin ends back onto the strands of the matching color, interlocking the two yarns. Give them a little twist so they stay in place. So I'm gonna lay the joint across one palm, keeping the thin tails folded back and the ends butted together. Now for the fun part. Either lick or wet your other palm and rub your hands together to felt the join, generating some heat through friction. Now I can felt the join until I've smoothed out any thickness or fuzziness. If the join isn't smooth, wet your palm again and rub some more. Look at how strong this join is, and it's super smooth. Now I'll knit those last few stitches in the first color. Like magic, the yarn will switch to the new color right on cue. So give this trick a try next time you need to change color in your knitting and let me know what you think in the comments.